Hi, this is Tom Brown from the Information Lab. Today we're going to look at a very basic introduction to using one of Tableau's table calculation functions. We're going to look at how to use the index function in order to create a table calculation that provides a rank within our visualization. This is the first in a series of videos which will help you make use of the index function in many, many different ways. But first of all, let's take a look at what we're trying to achieve. You can see in this visualization a horizontal bar chart of sales by state. But in addition to showing the name of the state here, we're also showing the rank, showing California's at position one, Illinois at position two, etc. So let's now show you how to build this view and how to put rank in next to the state. First step, let's build the view. We take state, place it on rows, sales on columns and sort the view descending. Now we need to go ahead and create the calculated field. We right click here in the measures window, create calculated field, just need to clear the window there. I'm going to name my field rank and then I'm going to select the table calculation function index. Now you can see from the help desk the help text here, that the index function returns the current row in the partition. So it's going to give us the row listed from the top of the visualization. We just double click index to make it appear in the formula window. And press OK. Now we have our calculated field rank and we need to bring it out into our visualization. So we just drag it onto rows. Now I'd like to put it to the left here because this is a continuous variable Tableau is going to position it to the right. We have to place the field here, then switch it to discrete. Now we can position it to the left of the field state. Okay. Now let me show you a slightly better way to do this. I prefer to take the field rank, move it onto the level of detail shelf where it doesn't affect my view initially. Here I can switch it to discrete and now I can move it exactly into position on the rows shelf without messing up my view as I go. So this concludes our first video on using the index function. Please check in again and you'll see other videos coming up how we deal with ranking within categories and filtering based on the ranking field. Thank you.